just arrived at Hamad Airport and waiting for the metro. Super excited to take the metro because it's a new one and it just opened. There's nobody in here. Check this out. So you don't even, you don't actually see the metro coming in. You just uh, you just stare at this mirror, and behind the mirror, the metro arrives, and then the, and the door opens. got into the metro and it's super empty there's almost nobody in my compartment <laughs> it's crazy it's super new there's nobody here I can't I can't really believe this stuff. This is just... So the Metro actually has two classes, a standard class and a gold class. And if you have a gold class ticket, you are allowed to sit in the front of the Metro. And this is how it looks like. These seats are epic. This is crazy! Check this out! So damn, I just, I just left the metro and I'm walking to my hotel and as you can see I'm sweating like crazy because it's like 30 degrees out here but I still have my sweater on from the flight coming from Germany of course but it's super hot and there's lots of construction on the road so there's no walking paths it's really messy still because they're still they're still preparing for the World Cup and it's still not finished so lots of construction on the streets but first impression sick so check this out, I found my hotel and it's still under construction. There's no paths to the entry of the hotel yet. Everything is still under construction. Holy fuck. How old are these hotels? So I just got into my room and it's actually super big. I'm just staying here for one night and it's probably too big but they gave me an upgrade, they were super nice. Um, yeah, I'm super happy to have this room. There's a large kitchen, I have a big bed and I got a TV over here and the view is actually not that bad as well. If you look out from my hotel window, you can actually see the beautiful Doha by night. This building looks super cool and all over there is the skyline of Doha. So I'm super excited about tomorrow. I have the whole day tomorrow to explore Doha. And I don't have, I don't really know what's, what to, what to uh, visit in Doha. I just know there's a museum or maybe two museums. There's the Museum of Qatar and the Museum of Islamic Art. Uh, the buildings look pretty cool from, from pictures. So I might go to a museum. It's gonna be super, super hot tomorrow, like 36 degrees. And in the evening, I would love to um, take a boat ride on the, on the sea. The work continues in Doha, Qatar for the World Cup in a couple of months. Lots of construction. I'm heading out now to grab some dinner. I'm going to the souk. Hopefully find something nice to eat. Traffic is chaos. No walking paths. So I'm basically walking walking on the main street with the cars passing by.
There's just no other way around it. This whole street is still not finished right in front of my hotel. Beautiful shop. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So, I just walked into a restaurant, I have no idea where I am, but uh, I checked the menu and it looked good. I ordered some, I ordered some chicken, I never sat on the floor eating, this is super new to me. I ordered some Zorbian chicken. And then they they showed me this place to sit down, and he came with this with this plastic cover over here for the food, I guess. So this is super new to me. I've never never eaten in a restaurant like this, sitting on the floor. I took off my shoes, and uh, yeah, I'm super excited about the food. So this is some Zerbian chicken. And I didn't get any cutlery, so I guess I'm going to eat with my hands. Oh, it's super hot. My dinner I had no idea how to eat it so I just used my hands since they didn't bring any cutlery I, I didn't know how to how to even start but I just ate ate some of the some of the rice and some of the chicken but it's just so much it's actually just a quarter of the portion and he wanted me to take half of the chicken and I said quarter will be enough because I wasn't that hungry but yeah I still have enough food left for for tomorrow for lunch I just uh, did a little walk through the souk. Really impressive. Everything is really new. The streets, are, the streets are really busy. The people are eating in restaurants, and it's really lively. Lots of people are selling things, beautiful things. It's just a typical Middle Eastern souk that they built here. It's really impressive, especially at night. Lots of restaurants, lots of foreigners as well, sitting in the restaurants. 
So I got day one, day one in Qatar behind me. Just spent a couple of couple of hours outside after landing here in Doha, and went to the souk uh, to have some dinner and walk around and take some take some uh, photos. I'm heading to bed now to be to be fit tomorrow. Super excited about tomorrow. It's gonna be a super hot and sunny day, but I have 24 hours before my flight to Bali. So I see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful day in Doha. The construction work outside helped me waking up. But uh, I slept in and I feel good. I think I'll do some yoga to wake up my body now and do some stretches. Take a shower and head down to the restaurant in this hotel and see if they have some breakfast and some coffee and then i'll just head out i don't have any plans for today except of a boat ride in the evening so i still have to find out how to how to get a ticket for that but i think it's going to be easy there are lots of boats in the harbor uh, but for the rest of the day i don't really have a lot of plans and um, didn't really do any research so i'll just head out and, and see if people can recommend something Maybe go to one of the museums. So let's go. I'm on my way to the Museum of Qatar. It's super hot outside. Construction work everywhere. This city is still under construction. But the building looks amazing from here already. As you can see, a really modern museum and hopefully can learn a little bit about the history of Qatar. I don't know anything about the history of Qatar. I just know they have a sheikh and an emir who's ruling the country. and that it's a hot country. The National Museum of Qatar. What a beautiful building. I hope it's open today. No idea where the entrance might be. Maybe here. Looks pretty cool from the outside. There's almost nobody here. Just a couple of construction workers and security guards. I have to find the entry first. Amazing architecture. They really make it super difficult to find the entrance. No idea where it is. Excuse me, where's the entrance? The entrance? Yeah. The, the main, yeah. Museum? Yeah. Because I bought the ticket somewhere over there. But the entrance. entrance. Straight here. This one, gift shop. No. Straight. Okay, thanks. Just left the museum, no paths to walk on. I just want to find a restaurant.
Sorry, you talk to me? No, 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 I'm not talking to oh, you. Oh, okay. So, I just walked to the Museum of Islamic Art. It was a really tough walk because there are no walking paths and I was in the middle of the road. But I'm happy to be in this area now. It looks really beautiful. I'm not going to visit this museum because I spent two hours in the Museum of Qatar's history, so I'm, I'm okay for today. I just wanted to come to this area with the boats over there to find a boat for tonight. So I just walked around and I asked around and oh look at this Hey you The first Qatari cat that I see So I just went around and asked if I can join a, join a tour but people don't really do tours here they just rent out whole boats Sorry, kitty, I don't have anything to eat. And he he told me that it would be 400 Qatari reais for just one person to rent a boat. And I don't want to rent a boat for So I don't know if, I'll, if I will come back here tonight, but I'll go back to the I'll go back to the hotel and ask at the reception if they can organize a tour for me. And welcome to the souk during Ramadan. Everything is closed. I'm just walking by here on my way back to the hotel and wanted to drink a little juice. But I'm not sure if anything is open in there. I'll just go for a quick round. But it's dead. It's much more fun in the evening. So I actually decided to leave Doha now and I will head back to the airport because my chances to do a, a boat ride tonight are really slow, are really slim <laughs> and I'm just looking forward to go to the airport and have some dinner because everything was closed in the city center because of Ramadan and I'm getting hungry, I didn't eat all day. So I'll just take the metro back to the airport and I will have a lot of time at the airport before my flight at 2 a.m. So thanks a lot, Doha. It was a pleasure to see you. And I'll be back soon for the World Cup. One of the coolest things I've seen was the souk, definitely, last night and also today. It's uh, probably one of the most famous things to do while in Doha. And my plan to go on a boat ride and see the skyline of Doha from the water, unfortunately, didn't, um, didn't materialize because the tour operators at the harbor or the people that I spoke with, they told me that I can only rent a boat with a large group and then it would it would have been way too expensive to to do it on my own so if you visit doha 
You can try, of course, go to the harbor and talk to some of these people and maybe you can catch a ride on a boat, but unfortunately it didn't work out for me. But I'll be back in November for the World Cup and we'll have more time to explore the city of Doha and also around Doha and maybe do a little desert, desert trip with a 4x4 and see if there are any beaches where people can swim in actually. So yeah, unfortunately, I feel like Doha is still under construction and that was not not so cool, I would say, because I, I walked on, on the roads all the time and it was not safe. But the people have been super friendly and the airport is amazing and the Doha Metro, of course, is super modern and super cool. So I'm excited to come back and hopefully Doha will be done with the construction work and then I will see it from, from a better light. So thank you guys for watching and I see you guys in Bali.